Welcome to Waypoint of View. We're Jess and Miles, and we're nearly two years into our journey around the world. We're currently on a road trip through the Balkans, and we just crossed the border from Croatia to Bosnia and Herzegovina. We had a great introduction to this very underrated country, swimming in a beautiful waterfall, wandering the cobblestone streets of a medieval town, and climbing to the top of a secluded fortress. And we have just made our way to one of Bosnia and Herzegovina's most popular cities. It's time to check out Mostar. We're getting a pretty early start this morning because there is a lot to see here. First up, we are heading to what is probably Mostar's most popular site, Starry Most. Starry Most literally translates to the old bridge and it was originally built back in the 16th century to connect both sides of the town across the Noretva River. Sadly, it was destroyed during the war in the 1990s, but because it was such an important symbol of the city, it was completely rebuilt to look exactly how it did and then officially reopened in 2004. It's roughly 24 meters high and there are actually locals that jump off the bridge for tips. We talked to one of them that said that they'll jump as many as 20 times a day during the high season. Ironically enough, we happened to get here this morning. At the same time, a German guy was wanting to do it for fun. <laughs> and he jumped three times. I was terrified for him. <laughs> Luckily, he was okay. <laughs> After watching our new friend jump three times, we just wanted to see what it would feel like standing up here, looking over the edge. There's no way. No way. It's like almost a hundred feet high. It's crazy. I wouldn't even jump off something a third of that height. <laughs> We spent a fair amount of time at the bridge, but there's a lot more to Mostar than just the Starry Most. But before we explore the old town, we're going to grab some traditional Bosnian coffee at the only place in town that roasts their own beans. So, uh, welcome to Cafe Delma. My name is Yaz. I'm the owner of the shop. I roast, grind, pack, sell, make, explain, drink, inhale, smell of, and dream about <laughs> coffee. And this is traditional Bosnian coffee, and you're right, it looks exactly like traditional Turkish, Greek, Israeli, Lebanese, Jordanian, Syrian, Palestinian, pretty much whole Eastern and Central Europe drink this coffee, and I can tell you that it is the same principle, but there are little differences, subtle differences. Okay. What you need to remember is that traditional Bosnian coffee is not a beverage, it is a ritual of time. Ooh. We like to sit down and like enjoy our coffee. So when I make this coffee, as you've seen me over there, I put the coffee grounds in the bottom of this pot. In a separate pot, I boil the water. When the water is boiling, I pour it on top of the coffee grounds. And as the steam comes from the boiling water, hits the coffee powder that it's in the bottom, lifts it up to the top. This is why this looks so thick and dark at the moment. So with the spoon, I'm just going to remain on the top of the coffee pot. I'm going to separate the coffee grounds from the edges of the pot, like so. Just carefully around, sort of scraping it. And when you have all the dark stuff in the middle, I'm just going to take it, pick it up and release like Ooh. that. So with this folding motion, you can see now my coffee looks much better than your coffee. Yes, it right? does. So in order to make that first sip even more intense, we take this cream, scoop it up and place it into your cup like that. And that first sip is going to be special because it's going to be creamy. And Jess, you're going to get the expert cup. Yeah. I am not mad about how that worked out. I really was not expecting that. The owner, Yaz, just walked us through the entire process from making the coffee to serving it and how to drink it. And it's time for my first sip. The frothy sip. It's really good. Yeah, I, like it. I normally drink sugar in my coffee, but this is really good. Yeah, I think it. it's not too. Um, it's people not. People ex expect it to be like really strong, right? And harsh. It's really not. It's not it's bitter. It's nice and and actually balanced. Yeah, and smooth. <laughs> it's really good. And it's not bitter. It's yeah. Not, yeah, it has a good, good stuff. I'm, I'm glad you like it. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Very welcome.
He also explained to us that coffee is a ritual of time. We normally finish coffee in about five to ten minutes. And that's a big cup of coffee. Yes, yeah. You gulp it down. Yeah, yeah e like, exactly. Like, like, like. Yeah. So Yaz doesn't personally drink his coffee with sugar, but it is a part of the tradition, so we're going to try it that way now. You have these little sugar cubes. You dip it in the coffee. Short dip. Oh, that was way too long. Yeah. I already messed up. Let me try a different okay. corner. No, it's okay. You, you got... The deed is done. You know. <laughs> it's done. <laughs> Just take a smaller bite. Okay. A tiny Just little a bite. A tiny bite. Hold, mm -hmm. it, hold that on your tongue. Mm -hmm. And then drink bitter coffee over it. So that the coffee will melt the sugar and you get that kind of sweet and bitter at the same time in your mouth. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what I like got. a spike of sugar yeah. and then bitterness comes out. Yeah. It's kind of cool. I did. I like that. What you're drinking was roasted two days ago. You can see oh, up there. Wow. If you come to Most Star, which you should, number one place, you got to come right here. This is awesome. Seriously. Well, we certainly plan to explore more of the Old Town this morning, but we ended up spending two hours with Yaz in his coffee shop, which was a lot more than we expected. We just sat and chatted and he told us stories and on top of our coffee experience, he let us try fresh elderflower and rose petal juice that his mom makes. And because we spent two hours there, it is now lunchtime. So he recommended two places that we must go and what we need to try at each one of them. So let's go eat. Yaz said, since we've already had chavapi, we've got to try the pies. And we've seen them at nearly every restaurant since we've been here, but he's sending us out of the old town to a couple of local spots. That means Sunday, which is today. And I'm assuming that means closed. <laughs> Good thing we have two recommendations. So we'll just go to the second and I don't know, maybe here tomorrow. I think we're still going to be okay because this next place he recommended is actually a pie shop, so we should still be able to get everything on our list. We need to get one of each of these. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, perfect. Okay, so these two look the same, but one of them is filled with spinach and cheese and the other one with potato. And then this one here, I believe, some kind of minced meat with garlic and a yogurt sauce and it's served cold so yeah i said this was his favorite yes that one's his favorite and i'm really glad that he told us it was served cold because otherwise i would have been pretty weirded out by that to be honest but he said it was to deal with this summer heat that we have <laughs> all right let's try okay so this one's spinach It's time to try the, to try this one. Mmm. This one's really good. This one's definitely my favorite too. Even though it's cold? Yeah, even though it's cold, I really thought that I, that I wouldn't be super into that. I don't mind it at all. It makes sense with the yogurt to be cold. And there's so much flavor in the minced meat. It's really, really good. Well, that was delicious and very filling, but it's about one o'clock now, so we are going to go hide from the sun for a few hours. <laughs> and we're back. We're feeling refreshed and off to explore the old town. just been wandering around taking it all in. Mostar really is a cool city. Much like our coffee this morning, you can really feel the Turkish influence, which makes sense because it was a part of the Ottoman Empire for over 400 years. 
The architecture here is so unique and you've got these beautiful mosques and churches all throughout the city. Mostar truly is a dynamic city and certainly far more than what meets the eye. And the past two days have been an unbelievable introduction to Bosnia and Herzegovina. We are thrilled to be here and still have so much more to see. Jess has been set loose in town with the Google Maps. We're looking for a particular cafe. We've turned around a couple of times. It doesn't know where we are. 